The virus was first detected in Wuhan, China. A public health emergency. COVID-19 has spread to nearly every country in the world. Another record day across this country in all the bad ways. Some of the doctors, they've been in war zones. They've never seen anything like this. Life is nowhere near getting back to normal. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The immortal words of Charles Dickens have never rang more true than now, during the age of the coronavirus. This will be probably the toughest week between this week and next week, and there'll be a lot of death, unfortunately. Horror and hope, intermingled on a daily basis, are reminding us all about the limits of our own power. This global plague has taken the world by storm, forcing us to physically separate from one another in a fashion unthinkable. Our daily lives as we knew them have been replaced with a new normal, defined by terms like self-quarantine and social distancing. We direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. Here in the United States, we like to think of ourselves as the epicenter of the world. We focus on ourselves and how global events are perceived through the prism of our own patriotism and self-proclaimed American exceptionalism. But across the globe, mankind is being humbled by forces far beyond its control. And whether you choose to think in terms of spirit or nature is of little difference because the consequences are exactly the same. Even in this land of plenty, with the world's most advanced medical care, we are struggling to survive this surge in sickness. With unprecedented character on full display within our hospitals, medical professionals are literally placing their own lives on the line as they come face to face with the fatally ill, trying to deliver healing and help to those stricken by this insidious disease. In New York State, more cases than any other country in the world outside the U.S. Think about how much more dire the situation is in places without the benefit of monetary resources. Body counts will continue to grow and the impact will be even more pronounced. Yet somehow, when you step outside these days, there's a palpable difference in the air. It's quieter, sweeter, it's more nourishing. Without the endless drone of emission spewing vehicles, you can actually feel the improved environment and hear the birds chirping cheerily, giving us an odd sense of strength, energy, and peace. But at the same time, family, friends, neighbors may be laboring to even breathe, painfully afflicted by the virus. When you actually know someone whose life is on the line, this plague becomes much more real and its impact becomes personal. The nature of this disease necessitates that we physically pull away from those in their greatest hour of need. All around us, people are desperate for unconditional love and emotional connections, but instead we must distance ourselves to make do with video chats instead of warm embraces. We want to fight that, but the playing field just isn't level. It's not human versus human or head to head or right versus wrong. The enemy is alien. It doesn't discriminate or plan. So coming out of our nests with our fists held high in the air won't do us any good. But that doesn't make us cowards. It makes us smart. In the days before the virus ran rampant, we like to delude ourselves with false narratives of our own self-importance. But our utter frailty and impotence has been laid bare for all the world and its people to see. Sadly, those who obsess over the virus by watching the endless stream of horror on television and spend their entire days following the carnage on social media are also terrifying themselves and making themselves sicker. They are, in effect, giving up and waiting to get sick and die. Know that the fear of this pandemic is far more destructive than the virus itself. This moment in our lives is forcing a reset, a rethinking about where we choose to invest our time and energy. It's shaking our confidence, but in doing so, reminding us all that we as humans do not have a fraction of the power and control that we think we have. We are beholden to forces greater than our own, and it's at every whim. This is a time unseen with an end barely in sight, but we will get through this. We're in this together, and never let that thought escape you. Because all mankind truly needs is each other.